When you listen to social media and this in your way of thinking about it, what, what does that want? What does social media want? How does it, how is it evolving? That's a great question and exactly the right question. Um, I would say what social media wants is it, um, it wants our attention. Um, and it's sort of, uh, um, it wants, it wants us, it wants to watch us all the time. And there's, there's a kind of really curious thing about the social media practitioners is like, they kind of like, um, they want to be famous, but they don't want anybody to know their private life or something. I mean, it's like they want to be famous, but they don't want to be known. It was like, okay, you can't, you, you can't have one without the other. You, you, so, so the way I, the way I say it is that, okay, here's what it is. Social media wants transparency. Okay. Um, and it, it wants transparency across the, the board. So, so if you have transparency, then, um, you know, you don't really have any privacy. Um, uh, and so, but, but the advantage of trans, uh, excuse me, the advantage of transparency is that you have personalization. People treat you as an individual. So um, if you want to be treated as an individual, then you have to be transparent. And you can't, you can't push the slider and say, I, I, want to, I want to be treated personally and I want to have personalization, but I don't want anybody to know about me. That does, that does not compute. So you kind of have to move the slider. And, and what we know about social media so far is that when people have a chance to move that slider, they're going to push it all the way to the transparency and personalization side. So social media wants transparency and personalization, but that's the cost of it. And so if you try to say, well, I just want one part of that, you're not listening to what it wants. 